Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. And let every heart prepare him room from a virgin's womb. Down through the canal of 42 generations, the God of all creation, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the king of the ages, the uncreated, immortal, invisible, God was here. Does that not blow your mind? I mean, this is the God of all flesh. The God who by his outstretched arm changes the times and the seasons. He rules over all of the kingdoms of the nations and removes and sets up kings. He could have just sent somebody here but instead he decided to come himself. And not as a fully grown man, powerful and strong, riding on the wings of angels or horses with chariots of fire, no. He came as a baby, frail and weak. It all seems like such a paradoxical anomaly. And to take it even further, this God who framed the worlds with his words, and dried up the waters of the great deep. The one who created all things and is exalted as head above all, had no place to lay his head at all. The earth is his footstool. Heaven is his throne and yet he's looking for someone to build a home for him. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. Even foxes have dens. Birds have nests. But the son of man, nothing? And so that's why I decided that I would prepare a place for him. That maybe my heart could be the manger where he lays his head and I could swaddle him with my garments of praise. That maybe my worship could be his Bethlehem and he would be proof that something good can come from the Nazareth of my soul. That maybe if he would wonderfully counsel me, I could build him a house upon a rock. One where by the power of his might, he could father my spirit and to the increase of the greatness of his peace over the government of my mind, there would be no end. So let the transformation begin and I will make room for you. And let my house be called Bethel, the place where God dwells. May you find your rest in me, El.